Hello. In this video we will show you what's new in version 3.3, of the PDF Index Generator software. To demonstrate the new features, we have created two indexes, this old index is created using version 3.2 of the program. And this new index is created using the latest program release, version 3.3 of the program. Feature number 1. The Run an Index Style Feature. Let's check the term championships, in the old index. This term is written as a header term. And all those terms are subheaders for it. When writing subheaders for any header term, by default the program writes those subheaders, indented under the header term. With each subheader being written in a separate line. Those subheaders can now be written in run in style instead of the indented style, using a new option in the program. Let's move to the program. Click Tools Settings Index Content Scroll down and you will see the new option, Use Run in Index. By enabling this checkbox, all subheaders will be written in run in style. Let's check the term championships, in the new index. As you can see, all subheaders are written here immediately, after the header word, on the same line. Separating each two subheaders, with a semicolon. Although run and style subheaders are difficult for readers to read, some publishers choose to employ this style to conserve paper and money. If you prefer using the run in style to write subheader terms, just enable its option from the program settings. And the program will handle that, when you write the index to a file, in step 4. Feature number 2. Using inclusive page numbers for page ranges. Let's check the name Casper Billy, in the old index. When writing page numbers in the book index for any index term, if there are page ranges like, 259 to 263, those numbers are written to the book index, with complete number of digits. But some publishers prefer to write the second part of that range, with the least number of digits needed. This is used mainly to reduce the index size, by saving some space. To enable this option, let's move back to the program. And in the index contents section you will find another new option. Use inclusive page numbers. If you enable that option, then the 259 to 263 range will be written as, 259 to 63, ignoring the 2, for the 100 digit. Let's see how this looks in the new index. We will look for the name Casper Billy. And as you can see, any page ranges here, are written using the inclusive styling. There are some rules concerning those inclusive numbers, and you can check them in the program help. Feature number 3. Setting different margin values, for even and odd pages of the index. In the old index, when moving from one page to another, you can notice that every page has identical left margin values. And identical right margin values too. This can now be changed. Let's check how this looks in the new book index. Odd pages here have a different left margin value than even pages, and same with the right margins. Back to our program and moving to the Index Templates section. When editing any Index Template, in the General tab, you will notice this new checkbox, Use Inside, Outside Margins. By default the program allows you, to set the value of the left and right margins for every page in the index. Which means that, all index pages will have the same left and right margin values. Some authors set margin values for even pages, that is different from the margin values, 
for the odd pages inside the book. In that case, you can enable this checkbox to use the inside and outside margins instead of the left and right margins. The inside margin, also known as the gutter, is the space between the binding and the text block. The outside margin is is the space between the text block and the edge of the paper. If you enable this checkbox, then when you write the index to a PDF file in step 4, you will notice that even pages have margin values. While odd pages have the opposite margin values. We have now mentioned three of the features that were added to this new release. Those features are explained in details in the program help, which can be accessed online. Many other features and fixes were added, and you can check them all in the release log page on our website. Please feel free to contact us if you have suggestions for our program. We value your ideas, and we truly consider your comments to create better new user-friendly releases. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.